Short Story 52 The Lost City of Coral Deep beneath the turquoise waves, hidden within a vibrant coral reef, lay the forgotten city of Aquapolis. Its buildings, sculptured from shimmering seashells and draped in kelp vines, echoed with the whispers of a lost civilization. No longer did mere folk glide through its coral avenues, leaving trails of bubbles in their wake, but schools of curious fish now darted between the abandoned plazas, their scales flashing like jewels. Twelve-year-old Maya, daughter of the fearless oceanographer Dr. Anya, had always dreamt of discovering Aquapolis. Legends of its sunken streets and glowing crystal palaces filled her bedtime stories, weaving magic into the ocean spray. One sunny morning, while diving beside her mother near the reef's edge, Maya felt a tug on her seaweed harness. A flash of gold caught her eye, glinting from beneath a pile of coral rubble. Intrigued, she dug her sandaled feet into the seabed and pulled. With a soft crunch, the coral gave way revealing a tarnished golden locket, its surface etched with swirling seahorses and delicate sea stars, pulsed with a faint, warm light. Maya's heart skipped a beat. Could this be a key to Aquapolis? Back on the research vessel, Maya rushed to her cabin, the locket clutched in her hand. In her mother's library, she unearthed dusty scrolls and faded maps, each whispering promises of the lost city. The locket, she discovered, was the legendary heart of Acropolis, said to unlock the city's hidden passages. Fueled by excitement and a touch of defiance, Maya knew her mother wouldn't approve of exploring a potentially dangerous ruin. She snuck back to the reef. Holding the locket aloft, she pressed its glowing button. A beam of emerald light sliced through the water, revealing a swirling vortex in the seabed. Maya, with a deep breath and a silent prayer to the ocean gods, plunged into the swirling portal. She emerged into a breathtaking underwater metropolis. Schools of luminescent fish pulsed through coral archways, casting an ethereal glow on the streets paved with smooth pearls. Sunken amphitheatres, their seats crafted from giant clamshells, stood silent but majestic. Maya wandered through the deserted city, her bare feet tickled by bioluminescent sand that sparkled like fairy dust. Suddenly a shadow fell across her path, a giant electric eel, its body crackling with blue energy, coiled in front of her. Fear gripped Maya, but then she remembered the stories. The heart of Aquapolis calmed even the fiercest ocean creatures. Holding her breath, she extended the locket towards the eel. The blue light danced between them, and the eel's electricity dimmed, replaced by a curious glint in its eyes. The eel, gentle now, nudged Maya towards a towering building of coral and seashells. Inside, a holographic projection flickered to life, depicting the history of Aquapolis. Its mere folk, proud and peaceful, lived in harmony with the ocean. But greed and pollution eventually consumed their city, forcing them to flee before it sank beneath the waves. Tears welled up in Maya's eyes. She understood now, not just the city's fate, but her own responsibility. Her mother dedicated her life to protecting the ocean, and Maya, with the heart of Aquapolis in hand, felt a new purpose surge within her. She would honour the merfolk's legacy, protecting the beauty she witnessed from greed and neglect. Emerging from Aquapolis, Maya sam back to the research vehicle a newfound determination sparkling in her eyes. She shared her discovery with her mother, not as a mischievous escapade, but as a call to action. 
Dr. Anya, seeing the passion and conviction in her daughter's eyes, finally understood. Together they vowed to use the heart of Acropolis not just to find the lost city, but to protect it and all the other wonders of the ocean from harm. The story of Aquapolis became a beacon of hope, a reminder of the interconnectedness of life above and below the waves. Maya, no longer just the daughter of an oceanographer, became a champion for the seas, her voice echoing the whispers of the long-lost city, urging everyone to listen to the ocean's silent plea. And in the vibrant deaths beneath the sun-dappled waves, the coral city of Acropolis, guarded by a brave young girl in the heart of the sea, waited patiently for the day its beauty would shine again. Story written by Google Bard AI Image created by Desgo.com AI